Oh, God. Uh, what is my stack size on my blue inserters? Two. I don't think they... Do they... Ugh, I always forget. Always, always. Where's my ins inserters wiki page? There. Uh, belt. Uh, chest to belt. Blue at capacity bonus. Uh, apparently it's 4.44? How do I read this? It says cap bonus 2. Does that mean 3? That must mean 3, so it's somewhere between 2.31 and 4.44, and I... I really don't know about that nonsense. I say... Screw it. Use stack inserters. Then we don't have to worry about it. At all. Then we just don't have to worry about it. This will, of course, be the uh, input line. Congratulations, we now have uh, Relesia seeds being produced. Da 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 da. Ooh, not that line. Da da da. Yes. This line is the line. There's a mod that is better than Bottleneck. Okay. That shows you how efficient inserters are. All right. Good to know, but I don't think I'm removing bottleneck at the moment. I'll do that. So, Relesia. Relesia plantations. Oh boy. Uh what am I carrying? 15 on me. I am... Oh, wow. Okay, so... Flue gas, right. So with the Relesia plantations, you need to plan out... Where's my... modules on the Relesia? I'm pretty sure I'm carrying around a few of them. Oh, vehicle! Wefa art thou? Oh, right there. Stuff and things. Ah, more Belizea. There we go. That's... That is better. Oops. Oops. Oh, you have... More inserters! Hey! Hey, more inserters! Hello, Ave. Welcome. Did I have, uh, red inserters? Red inserters? No. Oh, that is sad. So, uh, we're building in case, well, I guess since by this point we're on our last, uh, episode, I guess, of the stream VOD. In case you've been just joining. Uh, we are building dedicated manure. That is that is what is happening right now. Dedicated manure. That will eventually be used in dedicated tufra. That I need for sugar. That I need to get marked to cotton gut studs. 
once this organ printing tech goes through because pluripotent stem cells are required to do the Mark II cotton guts and you need sugar to make the pluripotent stem cells. So we're making manure to eventually use in Tufra. That's that's what we're doing. And we're overbuilding the manure uh, so that uh, there is the potential to scale later. I say potential to scale, but how would I even do that? So effectively, by the way, this is manure from water. I want to like point all this out. The way that I'm building this is straight up no... I don't need to bring anything in by train if I don't want to. The the way that I'm that I'm building this, this entire build is designed from the start as a build that doesn't need anything brought in for it. Just as point of reference, nothing will need to come in. I will be able to produce flue gas uh, on my own, like I. I don't need to worry about blue gas. Yes, the usual otaku approach. On a, on on my on the rails playthrough, totally, totally, we're totally on rails this time, right? We're totally on rails. We're not we're not an off the rails situation here. All right, and I need to loop manure back, so I need to actually have a kickstart situation here. Or bring in, or also, ah, that's what that's what I need to do. I need to do, actually, both. I need to do both cages and manure at the same time, like while I'm trying to scale up my uh, production of the uh, modules. Yeah, it. You need it. You. It's always best if you can make stuff from water to do so. Like, it will always be better to make things directly from the glorious water. Okay, uh, so this is one, two, three, four solid inputs, uh, which means two input belts. Uh, and these input belts will just be there just as a... Because that's how I did it over here. Uh, 67. 67. What the hell am I going to divide 67 by? What shall 67 be divided by? 3. No. By 23. Oh boy. So you're saying you're saying three rows of 23 to end up with not quite 60 set. Well, uh, 23 times 3 is, yeah, that number. Uh, I'd rather have a number divisible by 2. But that's not going to happen with 67. 67 is... Is that prime? I think 67 is one of those prime numbers, right? I'm, I'm pretty sure it's it's prime. Only divisible by itself. And, uh, and 1. But, yeah. So... Let's see, 68 is more reasonable, uh, so 68 uh, is divisible by, well, definitely 2, that's 34, so 17, 17, 4 rows of 17. 
That's what I'll do. I shall do four rows of 17. And it will be glorious. And I need all of the pipe on the planet. Oh, that's gonna... Yeah, I can't do it this way, sadly. Uh, so... Power. Yeah. Power is important. Just for reference, power power is important. Uh, and being able to power things is important. So, having... Having power lines is incredibly important. I think, yeah, as long as those are there, I can do the copy pasting now. 17. Like, really? For. Six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen. It's still shorter than the Mukmo. So, for reference, seventeen Relesia plantations is still less length than whatever number this was. It wasn't 10. It was uh, 13, 14, 14 Mukmo plantations. <sighs> oh boy. Um, there. Excuse me. There. <sighs> Do it right or not at all. <sighs> there. We're good. We're good. And then we just have to paste it down one more time. This gets upwards. Onwards and upwards. Onwards and upwards on these beautiful, glorious releases. Yeah, I'm just another for reference moment here. Uh, this is more Relesia, I think, than I am actually producing otherwise in the base. So, yay! More. More Relesia. More Relesia is good Relesia, I guess. What's my... What's the count at the mall on the Relesia line? It's... Sixteen. So my mall, you know, all of the Relesia seeds that have been feeding my science and all of that since the beginning. Sixteen Relesia plantations. We have sixty-eight Relesia plantations. Yeah. It's a little bit more than what I had previously. And this isn't even a dedicated Relesia build. Not even a dedicated Relesia build. It is. It is manure. We're doing all of this for manure. Hmm. Oh boy. All right. So it's four things in. Uh, two belts. We've got 
one belt coming from this way for the seeds. So that's interesting. I don't think I like these existing there so I will ignore them for now we'll adjust as we go later if I need to but ugh alright ideally that then from somewhere above and Screw that. Alright. How I'm actually going to do this is I am going to have a line brought in completely separately from the other side of whatever this other thing is going to be. Just that and, and have it be shared the entire time. Um... Probably... Oh. Yeah. Uh, you know what's easiest here is because we need the stuffs. We need the stuffs. Stuffs is being made here. Yeah. Probably gonna be better to swing the manure around and use the manure. Because it's one-to-one -one there. Just swing off the manure. And prioritize it. What will eventually be the manure. It's not going to start as manure, though. So while I'll plan for it, there is that point there where this will be actual manure um trust me on this this is this is just fine then this will be actual manure which means that it's output here For now, that will be that. Let's go. Huh? Right. There. Da-da! And that makes this immensely... immensely easier. Actually, I don't, I don't even... The beauty of times four. What's the difference between manure and fertilizer? Uh, well, as it turns out, fertilizer can be literally anything uh, that is uh, infused with uh, nutrients. Fer fertil fertilizer is something that provides nutrients into the soil, where whereas 
manure is very specifically derived from a very specific thing <clears throat> involving involving the animal excrement let's 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 leave it at uh so manure is a fertilizer it is a form of fertilizer but i'm pretty sure that not all fertilizer is manure Fertilizer may contain manure, among other things, as well. It can be a component part. Okay. So what's this input again? What's this input? Soil and uh, biomass? Yeah, soil and biomass. All right, the biomass. I did not bring compost. I did bring compost plants. I am amazing. I I actually I actually brought the thing that I needed to bring. Yay. Biomass will meet with thingy. We'll meet with soil brought in that way. We'll go this way. Um, I only need it once more. So that's the way. Yeah, manure is a type of fertilizer, but also like a fertilizer component. So do bear that in mind at least that's how I think of it I may be completely wrong botany was not my specialty It was absolutely not a class that I took in my un my undergrad degree. This is exclusively that stuff. Yeah. Do I have any more pipe? I don't. I am sad. I am sad. I have no more pipe to ground in my in my inventory in my life right now. Uh, let's see, so that's made by, uh, a precisely one of these, making creamy latex. Please, for the love of God, don't touch creamy latex. It's gonna get touched, I'm, I'm sure of this now. Uh, better, better be ready to change this when the time comes. Limestone and sap, yay! Hey guys, we've got uh we've got ourselves some uh some wonderful glorious limestone going on and uh we've got some some glorious wonderful beautiful saps That, uh, that are being made right here. Success! Let's, let's not do it that way. We'll put it there, and then go thing up. There we go. That saves a little bit of, little bit of space, just uh, just a little bit of space saved on that day. Uh, and then uh, there were these guys making soil.
Da da. I think that's correct. Uh, we'll go with it. We shall go with it. That that will be that. Uh, so we've done at this point. At this point, that is all of the like ghost and infrastructure work placed. I'm going to actually take a uh, a blueprint of this just to have on hand just in case some of these time out. I don't think they will, but anyway, that's going to be fine. Our next set, what is next, will be the Falagi. Oh boy, the Falagi. Falagi is next, and that's going to be where the bulk of the space is going to be used out of this. Just for reference, that's where most of our space is going to be from all this all all these all these spore collectors that we need for the Falgi. But we have reached the end of our time today for the stream. I can't believe it. It's already one o'clock. I can't I can't believe we've planned out and executed on the vast majority of this manure build. Like, hey, let's start let's do cotton guts. Let's do cotton gut studs. Let's do the Mark II studs, since we have access to them and they're sort of balanced at this point in time. Let's do the Mark II studs. Hey, the Mark II studs need sugar to make them. What, how about we make some tufra to make sugar? We need tufra for some other things besides the sugar anyway, for other things outside of cotton guts as well. So we may as well make some tufra at scale, right? Well, Tufra is going to need some manure to do the better recipes for it, right? So we may as well just have some sort of setup to have dedicated manure, right? So how are we going to get our manure? Well, let's let's use the Mukmo recipe to get the Mukmo at scale. We haven't done the Mukmo at scale yet, right? So let's go ahead and set up the Mukmo at scale and let's get manure out of it and figure out what we need to do to get the manure out of the muck at scale and here we are here we are here we are three hours later <laughs> through the stream building out our muck manure in the in the middle of building out the muck manure and uh preparing to have a uh output train station of muck manure Mukmo based manure. Ah, but as I said, we have reached the end for the day today, folks. That is what we did today, is we got the Mukmo manure. We also took a detour and prepped the glassworks buildings for the impending nerf to the natural gas uh, fluid value. So switched over to fuel oil for the most part, as well as some syngas on the uh, various glassworks machines that I had that were using natural gas. They are no longer using the natural gas, as far as I'm aware. I th think I got all of them. I think the only thing that I might not have is this one, but that's easy enough to change the, uh, the glassworks glassware. Just that's that's easy enough to switch it to the syngas right next door. But anyway, we're building we're building manure. It'll definitely be finished next time. Well, finished. We're production blocked a bit on the spore collectors right now. We won't have sufficient quantities of spore collectors uh, for a little while yet, and you know we have to wait on the other stuff i mean no i don't see glasswork energy consumption getting lowered that uh, i don't think is going to be a thing uh because it was brought up to that value for a reason that it's it's up at that high value intentionally but anyway with that i would like to thank you all for watching uh, this has been otaku showboat if you're watching the vods on youtube and have been enjoying the series thus far 
Please be sure to comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and if you are so inclined, head on over to twitch.tv slash but to leave a follow to be notified when I go live Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays from 10 a.m. to approximately 1 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. You can do all of the social stuff through the links below the video, including supporting Pyanodon's mods development at patreon.com slash Pyanodon and myself at patreon.com slash otaku showboat. I will, of course, be back on Sunday, on Easter Sunday, I might add. That is the current plan. I will be around uh, and streaming come Easter Sunday. I hope, I mean, I haven't really had discussions about it, but we don't really have any plans to be out and about uh, this Easter. <clears throat> uh, so, yeah, that is that is the plan. I will be here. Uh, I unfortunately don't have a thing to dress as a rabbit. The only thing I have is to dress as a red panda. That's that's all I have. I can I can dress as a red panda, not uh, not a rabbit. <laughs> but I don't think I'm going to do any of that. So. Yep, I will be back, Easter. Hope to see you all then.